joy of the Lord is our strength.
We know, oh God, that only good things will happen to us as we worship and as we praise you. Let your name be glorified. We promise you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Then give the Lord a better clap of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah,
Erase, why is it so? Let's say, Erase, tell us Yes, way. 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 Oh, 
Going the Nigerian way. I have a very big God who is always by my side. A very big God who is by my side. Do you believe what you're saying? A very big God who is always by my side. A very big God who is by my side. I have a very big God who is always by my side. A very big God who.
Let's sing the angels. Angels are singing now. You are worthy. what God has done for us. Oh God, thank you. Thank you for making me great. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you for the forgiveness. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you that I am glowing. I am shining. I am making it. Thank you for your grace upon me, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful. Amen. Shall we please take our seats as we welcome you to the second service of Love Community Chapel International on behalf of our Papa, the Apostle Dr. George Ayuku and our Mommy, Reverend Veronica Ayuku. We assure you that your coming here will never be in vain. Hallelujah. By the time the service ends, glory, value will have been added on you. Amen. God bless you. Shall we look at Luke chapter 1, verse 46 to 49? You see, we have to show gratitude to God for all that he has done for us. And today, as our custom is, today is a trumpet day. We are here to magnify the name of the Lord, to praise him, and to show appreciation. Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord. 
And my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Today let your spirit rejoice. For he has regarded the low state of his maid servant. For behold, henceforth all generation will call me blessed. And that is your new name now. Irrespective of your status in life, God has recognized you. For he who is mighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. This is the reason why you cannot but to praise him. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all as you've come. We want to right away welcome the classical choir to start the praise. We have a series of choir today and they are going to praise and magnify the Lord our God. Oh, with a round of applause, shall we welcome them? Big it up, big it up, big up the applause. Hallelujah. God bless you. Oh 
the women's choir. The women's choir. Oh, we can sustain the applause. The women's choir. Oh, glory. Today we are praising our God. We are magnifying him. We are glorifying him. We are lifting his name high above all other names. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time, God is good. Amen. Come on! The glory belongs to you. Wonder 
you're working, God, you make my life so beautiful. Eba, sinkle neba. Some men shall walk away and dance. Men don't want some men walk away. Ah, they all bump on the wall, don't they know who more brought? I see that's a won't go on. Let me go. I hear you saw no go on. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Eba, sinkle neba. Come on, you want to do to me. Yes, I don't. Missy, one no one just no not I do me no young so once Some want power, want to me to the Casa. They are your swat or more. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do I prepared God, you make my life so beautiful. Eba, sing to the band. So me shall one come by your daddy. Man, you want to me one come by your ass. Ah, you want for me one don't need no home or bro. What's ya? I see that's all. Won't go out. Get him out my door. I hear you so. Don't go out. Get him out my door. Yes, whoa. I don't know. Uh-huh. I and you see you make her life so beautiful. Hey, I see that so no go Yes, Lord, all the glory belongs to you. God bless you, women of destiny choir. Hallelujah. Shall we have the ever increasing faith choir? Oh, we can do that better. Please big up your applause. Yes. Big it up. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, it's day of trumpets. Come on, put your hands together unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have every reason to praise the Lord. Amen. We have every reason to praise him. He's been good. He's been kind to us. We want to lift him high this morning. Amen. 
All right. Come on. Everybody clap, 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 clap. Hey. Come on. Say. Let everything, let everything that has breath.
you have breath, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a shout yeah. of praise. Let everything that has breath. The Lord. So give the Lord a shout of praise. Yeah. If you are alive, give the Lord a wave and a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Such a great God. Praise the Lord. Oh my soul. Can somebody do a dance? Praise the Lord. Go on, go on. Hey. Oh. Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus. Yeah, we want to remember what Jesus did on the cross for you and I. Yeah. And that is that gives us the privilege to praise him. Hallelujah. Everybody do a dance. Oh, 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 yeah. All right. We do it this way. Listen. When I saw the wondrous cross, Heba, and the price you paid on that day, I count it all by joy. Jesus, your love, they blow my mind. Hey, when I saw the hell, tell him, everybody lift your voice and say, and the price you paid on the day. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I count it all by Jesus, your love, they blow my mind. Jesus, your love, they blow my mind. Hey, from heaven, Lord. From heaven, Lord. Come on. Do it. Father, we give you all the glory. Hey, you reign, Jehovah. <laughs> Everybody sing, my last and my life. My Hey, you deserve all the praise. Yes, my life. Oh, my job. Yes, Yes, Everybody, yeah, yeah, What you tell no man can do, say, yeah, Mala, Macho, 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 Nobody can do me like the way you do. The way you do. I know my life, Lord, I go there for you. You turn my life, you change my life around. Hey, give me a new song to sing. Give me a new song to sing. You turn my life, you change my life around. Hey, give me a new song to sing. Give me a new song to sing. My life, my job, my job. Yeah. Why you do been to me? Oh, my life, my joy. Oh, yes, 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 Beautiful one, oh, mighty warrior. Oko kroko, onyamia una siro niye yano na. Sing it, uti ni ayebi day. You are the God of our flesh, nothing too hard for you. No words can describe the God you are. Hey, beautiful one, oh, mighty warrior. Oko kroko, onyamia una siro niye yano na. Hey, uti ni ayebi day. You are the God of our flesh, nothing too hard for you. Be away, can't describe the God. Now tell him, tell him, be God, oh. Be God, oh. Be God, oh. To be. So the pain cannot describe you. Say, be God, oh. 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 Things you 
gonna do for me nobody can do the miracles you bring my way either blow my mind no hair and do my ray and i think i'm blessed through you kbaoc you are one that the things you do for me, nobody can do. The miracles you bring my way, in the blood of my Lord, healing to my brain. Nothing can break through you. KBOC, you are wonder. Hey, I've never seen this kind God before. Come on, tell him. Hey, I've never seen this kind God before. Jesus, come on. I've never seen this kind God before. Jesus, Jesus, everybody, say Jesus, do it, Jesus, hey, say it now, Jesus, Jesus, everybody, say Jesus, Jesus, If you have one, come on, come on, but Jesus, everybody, come on, the Jesus, hey, Jesus, hey, say, Jesus, say, Jesus, 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 give the Lord a song. Hallelujah. Today's the Lord's day. So we shall give it to him. Say, I will give it to him. I will give it to him. I'll give all to him. I'll give all to him. Now we shall do a dance. And the dance is what I mean is that uh, the song I uh, I thought to the, the one that you sang, the one um, the one the ever increasing song, the last one, the last part, was it? That you were doing some dance here. What is it? Uh huh. Now, I'm I'm doing. We are doing a battle, some battle, and we know we know we are doing some battle for one of our sisters, uh, Auntie Martha. She, she's not here, otherwise she'll be here to be dancing. But we are going to dance, a warfare dance, and we are sending this praise to the hospital right now. Now, please, I'm serious. I know what I'm talking about. God is working, but this dance is a special dance for our sister. Who is, who is, who is, who is surviving? Who is fighting to live? Let's do it. Let's do it. The power in praise. The, the place is hot, eh? Open the windows and let's dance. Open the windows and let's, and let's sweat. So, so you, you don't sweat at all. Today sweat small. Listen. As you sweat in praise today, is the last sweat you see in your business and marriage. It's the last sweat you will see in your business and marriage. Serious. I'm serious. Let's go. Come on. Everybody clap, 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 clap. Come on, church. For the Lord. Let's go. Let everything, let everything. Let us pray. Let us pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything. Let everything. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Let us pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, do it. The wave. The wave. Hallelujah, wave. Come on. Hallelujah, wave. Hallelujah, wave. Do it. Hallelujah, wave. Hallelujah, wave. Hallelujah. Come on, keep on saying. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the waves flow. Hallelujah. I see the hand of God upon the church. I see the face of God upon the church. I see a big matter coming stronger. I see matter coming stronger. I see God's presence reaching out to her right now in the hospital. I see angels of God moving there right now. I see the fire burning in the body, in the heart, in the blood system. I see, I see the blood of Jesus flowing into her being. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah, come on, say hallelujah. Waves, hallelujah, waves, hallelujah. Hallelujah, waves. Hey. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's your day, Lord, take it. It's your day, take it, Lord. Receive, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your glorious presence in the assembly of, your, of the saints. We thank you, Father. Take your place. Be enthroned in our worship. And let your presence feel surge through your people. Presence of the Lord. Presence of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we enthrone you. Come on now. We proclaim you are king. Standing here in so fast. We raise you up with our praise. We raise you up with our praise. And as we worship you, your throne. Hallelujah. Come on up. And as we
Let your presence heal your people. Let the glory shower on us. We thank you for your presence here. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Please be seated. Trusting, trusting, trusting only you. I am trusting, trusting, trusting. Today is a very special day in the life of this church. Every first. Sunday of every month, we spend the day for God. We speak about God, thanksgiving, praising his name. And so I want to welcome you again to second service. If you're watching me live on screen, this is all we do in every first Sunday of every month. We call it Day of Trumpets. Our singing and everything is just say, is saying thank you, Lord, for the past month and thank you for the new month. Thank you for what you'll be doing in this new month. Day of Trumpets. I will share with you what I titled The Joy of the Lord. But I want to express to you that days like this, Day of Trumpets, what do we actually do? Numbers 10 verse 10. Numbers 10 10 says, and also in the day of your gladness that is today, in your appointed feast, and at the beginning of your months, that is like first, first Sunday of the month like this, you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings. And they shall be a memorial for you before your God. I am the Lord your God. So, Day of trumpets are, day of, are days of gladness. Days of trumpets are days of gladness. Gladness and joy. And we blow trumpets as a symbol of our gladness and our thanksgiving unto God. Yes. Symboli symbolizing trumpets symbol symbolizes noise making and joy. And that's what uh, day of Trumpets um, is, is meant for. Now, one of the important things about God is the protocols that uh, we have to know about God. There are protocols everywhere in the world. For instance, when you are coming to church, protocols, ushers, how to usher you in. It's part of protocol. Everywhere you go, there are protocols there. If you are invited for any conference. You don't just go. You go with protocol. Invited, invite, you, are, you are invited guest. You are going to also hear something. And so they put you at a place where you'd hear. So you have to subject yourself to protocols. If the ushers usher you to a place, sit down. It's, it's protocol. They say, sit down here, sit down there. It's part of protocol. And protocols are everywhere. Both in the spiritual and the physical. For instance, heavenly protocol demands that before you come to God, you must Sing and you must enter with thanksgiving. Psalm 100, verse 1 and verse 2. This is a protocol. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all you lands, all you people. So joyful noise is part of the protocol in God's presence. Yeah, it's part of... That's why when noise is being silenced, when joyful noise is being silenced, it doesn't allow God to move in our lives. Yes, and there are forces that fight silence and, and joyful noise. And I won't share about that right now, okay? But making a joyful noise to the Lord is part of our Christian worship. It is. All you lands. I thought I would hear some joyful noise right now in the house. <laughs> yes. Satan doesn't want to hear this at all. He, he, he abhors such joyful noises that are made to God. Then there's two. It says that, serve the Lord with what? Gladness. This is a protocol. Come before his presence with singing. This is the protocol. 
So you can't just get out and go to your president. You must observe protocols. In the same way, in God's presence, you enter God's presence protocol. It's so important. You, one of the things, you must be glad. That's one of the protocols you must observe. Serve him with gladness and come before his presence with singing. God gave everybody a voice to sing. It doesn't matter what your voice is. You must sing. You can't sing like my, 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 my minstrel. You can't sing like uh, the, the ministers who sing. But you have a voice. And the voice is meant to sing. It can be a crocodile voice. It can be a frog's voice. As some frog at home has been serving me a lot. And my wife was saying, let's, I said, let's leave the, the frog. I'm enjoying the frog. <laughs> let's get a, a, the, frog, the frog away. So don't worry. It's part of, part of nature. Hallelujah. And the, the, such voice. Every morning, every night, you see the frogs everywhere. The birds are sinking. It is divine protocol. That is what God wants. You must give God what he wants. Praise the Lord. Serve the Lord with what gladness and come before his presence with singing. His presence demands singing. So in my worship, personal worship time at home, my personal worship at home, I spend an hour at least worshiping God before I start praying. That, that's right. First quarter, first half, first hour, worship. Singing and praising God before I begin the real prayer of intercession. Because that is a divine protocol. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at verse 4. Verse 4, the same place, verse 4. It says, my, 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 my TV is going off, so come on, come on. It says what? Enter his gates with what? That is a protocol. Thanksgiving is a key that opens the gates. You can stand at the gate and knock and knock and knock and knock. Without Thanksgiving, it will be there. You, you, you will be there and dry. You will be there forever and dry. God's demand is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Enter, enter there with thanksgiving. It will cause we praise. The presence we praise. Hallelujah. And if you, if you study the early church carefully, the early church was a church that was baptized in gladness. Gladness was part of their worship. Acts 2 verse 41. You see that if you those who received God's word then, it was with gladness. Then those who gladly, say gladly, say gladly, Receive his word, were baptized. So they receive the word with, with, with what? Gladness. Amen. Verse 46. Look at verse 46. Quickly, very fast. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness. So the church must learn to flow in the spirit of gladness and joy. That is the character of the church. Attitude to the church with gladness. Hallelujah. Now, let me say that some people try to concoct um, gladness and joy. But joy is spiritual. Happiness is an euphoria that takes place based on circumstances around you. Probably they are positive. Maybe somebody gave you a, a brand new shoe. So your smile has changed. You bought a brand new dress this morning or this day. So today your, your dancing was different. <laughs> Maybe you got some new shoes this morning. So let me, let me display the shoes. That is happening. But joy is a spiritual virtue that flows independent of circumstances. Are we here? And the Holy Ghost is the source of the joy. Romans 15, 13, quickly. Romans 15, 13 says that. Now may the God of hope fill you with joy and peace. Joy and peace. Joy and peace. In believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So joy actually is resourced from the Holy Ghost. Psalm 51 verse 12. Psalm 51 verse 12 says that. Now may the God of uh, restore to me the joy of your salvation. Right? And uphold me by your generous spirit, your right spirit. So, joy of salvation is a spiritual thing, spiritual expression, spiritual virtue. Yes. So, your joy shouldn't be dependent on who, somebody who gave you something. No. It springs from inside. Something on the inside that is expressed outside. 
Amen. Gladness. Hallelujah. First, Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6. It says that, And you became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Spirit. So affliction can be there, but still you can be joyful. Somebody is worrying you, but you are joyful. You lost your, your job, but you are joyful. Amen. Please, are you with me? So no matter your affliction, joy is a virtue of the Holy Ghost. And it flows within. No matter what happens to you, be joyful. I said be joyful. Be joyful. Now, there are dangers associated with lack of joy. And we must know how these dangers function. Who they are. What they are. The book of Deuteronomy 28 verses 47 to verse 48. And it says that because you did not serve the Lord your God with joy and gladness of heart. For the abundance of everything. So whatever you have, you must be glad about it. But if you, if you, if you decide that you won't be glad about it, look at what will happen to you. Verse 48. Therefore, if you refuse to be glad and be joyful, see what will happen to you. Therefore, you shall serve your enemies. Do you like it? Do you like it? Whom the Lord will send against you, they will be against in hunger. Soon hunger shall set in your life. In thirst, in nakedness, soon you'll be naked. And in need of everything. Because you refuse to be joyful in whatever God has given you to enjoy in life. And he will put a yoke of iron on your neck. Until he has destroyed you. Do you like that? So, in, to avoid the scenario of enemies fighting you, scenario of not doing good job, good business to get money to feed yourself, the scenario of lacking everything, then be joyful. Learn to be joyful. Learn to be joyful. Joel 1 verse 12. Joel 1 12 says that the vine has dried up. And the fig tree has withered. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree. These are trees, food bearing trees. F trees that must give you food, sustenance. All the trees of the field are withered. Why? Surely joy has withered away from the sons of men. When you lose your joy, you start withering away. You start, you, you, you open yourself to a life of need, a life of decay. Yes, you start decaying because you have refused to be joyful in the Lord and, and be thankful for what God has done for you. It's so serious. Church, it's very serious. Lamentations 5 verse 15 to verse 17. I'm showing you the dangers of refusing to be joyful in the Lord. And it says, the joy of our heart has ceased. Listen carefully. When the joy in your heart ceases, here we see what happens. Our dance has turned to mourning. Anytime your joy ceases, the next immediate thing is mourning. Events will start taking place to make you mourn. Please understand that this is spiritual. Anytime you stop being joyful and being thankful to God, you open the door for events of mourning to set in your life. Yes, you create the opportunity for demons of depression and mourning to set in your life. Please understand that. So joy is a major instrument against satanic entities. Factors of decay. Factors of destruction. Factors of depression. Joy is the key. Please, are you with me? Verse 16. The crown has fallen from our head. You see, your achievement, your crown is your achievement. The things you have achieved over time, they, they just fall away. Because you have refused to be joyful and thankful to God. Woe to us for the dangerous, dangerous aspect is we have seen. So living in the life 
void of joy and gladness is tantamount to sin. And sin, where there's sin, you can, you can tell what's, who is there. The devil is there. Please understand. Make sure that you don't live here with that mentality of I'm, so, I'm sorrowful. I'm, de I'm depressed. I'm not happy in life. I want to kill myself. Joy is your antidote to that, that, that problem. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Give me some praise. When you are in affliction, joy can see you through. I'm telling you. James 1 verse 2 to verse 3. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Verse 3. Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. So when you are in affliction, please maintain your joy. Business is not the way you should expect. Maintain your joy. You lose your, your fiancé, maintain your joy. You lose your fiancé, maintain your joy. Your husband is misbehaving, maintain your joy. Your wife is misbehaving, maintain your joy. Please, am I, am I, am I speaking to somebody here? Your children are not doing the best they should. Maintain your joy. They will come back, they will come back. I said they will come back. I said they will come back. Your children will come back to God. Maintain your joy. Hallelujah. In Acts 13, verse 49 to 50, Apostle Paul went to a fishing with his team. But here's what, what happened. And the word of the Lord was being spread throughout all the region. Thank God. The word was going. We're having success. Verse, the next verse. But, come on, say but. When he was having success, but the Jews stirred up the devout and prominent women and the chief men of the city raised up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their region. Can you imagine? You are making progress. The word was going. You are happy. You are joyful. And then people persecute you. They suck you. They go away from us. They are working in a place. You think you have, you, have a, you have a future there. Then something happens, then leave this business. Go away. We, we, can't, we can't work with you any, any longer. What would you do? But look at verse 52. And the disciples were filled with what? With what? Joy. And with what? The Holy Ghost. Anytime joy comes, check the Holy Ghost. You'll be right there. The Holy Ghost is attracted by joy. I just want people who can be joyful. Yes. Now, listen carefully. If you are working somewhere and your workers are always depressed, sack them. Teach them to be joyful or sack them. <laughs> you, you can't say amen to this one. It's hard. They come to your office and their faces are like people who have been beaten with 49 stripes. They can't be happy in your office. They can't laugh their faces are sorrow from Monday to Friday. The same person suck him. His presence is bringing demons to the office. It's, it's a hard talk, right? Hard talk. In spite of the affliction and the persecution, Paul and the disciples were joyful in the Holy Spirit. So you can be having a problem and still be joyful. Let me see somebody say, and I know this morning. And I know. Come on, shake your leg and say, and I know. This morning, your, your leg will shake. We shall praise God for a long time before we leave here. Amen. We shall give God some crazy praise. Lift up your joy, your joy level. Amen. Now, now, listen. You know what joy can do? Joy can boost your faith. When it seems you are not believing God anymore, start being joyful. Look at this scripture. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 8 and verse 9. Thank you, Lord. Whom having no sin, Jesus Christ having seen, you love. Though now you do not see him, yet you believe. Yet believe in. You rejoice with joy, inexpressible and full of glory. So we haven't seen Christ, but we joy. We are happy. We, 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 are, we, we, we rejoice in Jesus. Verse 9 says that receiving the end of your faith, 
So joy and faith are connected. And when your miracle happens, your faith ends. Faith ends when your miracle takes place. And joy is the booster of your faith. So joy is important to your faith. <laughs> when it seems like you can't believe anymore, put on some song. Huh? Put on a song in your phone. And begin to do it. Do it. Do it. In your own way. In your room. Do it. Do it. Faith shall be boosted up. Hallelujah. Psalm 5 verse 11. Psalm 5 verse 11. But let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Are you trusting God? Then what should you do? Rejoice. Are you trusting God? What should you do? So there's a link between trusting God and joy. Let them ever shout for joy. Thank you. You are in your spirit. You are in your spirit. Oh, are you, are you shouting for joy? Let them ever shout for joy. Ever shout for joy. <laughs> ever shout for joy. Because in the midst of everything, you defend them. You see, when you are joyful, you are praising God. God will design to defend you. People shall persecute you. They shall call you names. They shall dry your name in the mouth. But God shall defend you. Yes. In the midst of your joy, God will say, ah, somebody is calling me to come and defend him. God will come and defend you. La. Amen. He will defend you. He will, when we're having a challenge, we possess in this place. We've entered to seven days of joy. We are praising God and God for the battle for us. Here in this place. Yes. So God can defend you. How can God defend you? Draw him to the case, to the battle with your joy and gladness. Let God join the, join the, join the, 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 the legal case. How can God join? Rejoice. Amen. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. Do you love, do, do you love God's name? Do you love God's name? Do you love God's name, church? What should you do? Be joyful. Come on, show some joy. 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 Hallelujah. Give God some clap, 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 clap. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I was looking at the man called Abraham. Abraham was able to generate the faith he needed to release Isaac. Romans 4. We read from verse 18 coming down. 18. 18 coming. Romans 4, 18 coming down. Okay, that's Abraham, okay? Who contrary to hope, in hope believed, so that he became the father of all many nations, according to what was spoken. Verse 19. What did he do? And not being weak in, in faith, he did not consider his own body dead already. Since he was about 100 years old, it's impossible. My body is dead. I can't even have a time with my wife. There's no feeling anymore. I mean, we are just dead. Nothing can happen. I mean, the woman was dead. The womb was dead. Everything was dead. But alive. Yes. And God said, you give birth. Amen. He really considered the, the, the situation I think it was impossible. And the death is of Abraham's womb. But what did he do? Verse, verse 20. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith. Doing what? Doing what? Doing what? So giving glory means he was rejoicing the Lord, and that boosted his faith to believe God. Are you charging up something? Believe God for it, but add, your, add joy to it. You come to church. Now I'm, I'm, I'm joyful. I'm just fighting for somebody. Hallelujah. Hey! Mothers are leave! Yeah. <laughs> Let the demons, the demons hear that. The forces of darkness fighting. <laughs> she shall leave! Yeah. Let me end up with this. Psalm 105. Because of um, time. I want to praise God for a long time. Effects of joy. Psalm 89. Verse 15 to verse 16. I'm ending on a few verses here. When you are joyful in the midst of the situation, God can create something new. Yes, a miracle can set in. It will surprise you. Your laughter will come. 
Blessed are those are the people who know the joyful sound. Amen. There's a blessing in knowing what the joyful sound. They walk, oh Lord, in the light of your countenance, the presence. If you know how to walk in God's presence, joy will be it. Amen. Blessed are those are the people who walk in the joyful sound. Who know? You know. You know the joyful sound. You walk in the presence. The system. The system. In your name, they rejoice all day long. So Monday you are rejoicing. Tuesday you are rejoicing. Wednesday you are rejoicing. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. All day long. Monday morning you get up and you, you dance. You praise the Lord. And in your righteousness they are exalted. Promotion comes. From every situation you find yourself, joy shall promote you. Please give us some praise right hallelujah. Amen. Have I got three verse 17? Thank you, Lord. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines. These are negative circumstances. Though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no head in the stores. Yeah, no fruit, nothing. You're, not, you're seeing nothing. Rien. Verse 18 says something. It says, yet, yet, yet. Oh, yet, continue, yet. Yet, 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 yet. You're not seeing my many customers. Yet. Business is going down. Yet. No husband is coming. Yet. No wife, yet. No car, yet. No house, yet. I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Give him some praise right now. Hallelujah. Job 18, verse 21. Job 18, 21. Job 18. Thank you, Lord. Job chapter 8, 21. 8, 1. He will fill your mouth with laughing. Come on, somebody can laugh this morning, right? And you are listening rejoicing. Wow. <laughs> Amen? Those who hate you will be clothed with shame. Now, see, when you begin to be joyful in the Lord, opposite of joy shall happen to your enemies. The opposite of joy. When you start being joyful, you are dancing, you are praising, you are fighting a battle against your enemies. Yes. You see that as you are, you are happy, they will not be happy. You laugh, they will moan. Amen. It's a, it's, a, it's a trade though. It's a transaction. Eh? Trading my sorrows for what? For what? So as you are in church this morning, as you are happy, you are making your enemy unhappy. As you laugh, they will not be laughing. They, they, will, they will cry. Are we here? Come on, give us. Give, 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 are you laughing? Laugh small. <laughs> they are saying, but they can't laugh. Oh. I see the whole of Africa, Afri Africa map, Africa, Madagascar. It's on their neck. The whole world is on your neck. Laugh it off. Hey, can I hear somebody say, ha ha ha? See, you are not, you don't, you don't like laughing. So your, your facial structure, the bones are just like one, one, one. Squeeze bones. Don't jump on, don't jump on here. Lose your face. Come on, say ha ha ha. <laughs> Come on, laugh, man. Feel free in the house of God. He will fill your mouth with laughing and your lips with rejoicing. Hallelujah. Those who hate you will be clothed with what? Shame. Come on, shame unto the devil. I love this. I love this. And the dwelling place of the wicked will come to nothing. Because you are laughing and rejoicing. Now, I'll give you three scriptures and we start, we, we move into washing. Proverbs chapter 15. What praise and joy can do. Verse 13. A merry heart makes a cheerful countenance. So when you are merry, it's seen on your, on your outlook. 
the way you smile, the way you move your body, it shows you are, you are making merry. But by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. When you become sorrowful, it breaks your heart. A broken-hearted person cannot be joyful. If you are broken-hearted, today receive joy. Oh, sister, your fiancé your fiance says he's going, let him go. He's not God. He's not God as a future for you. God will settle you. I said, God will settle you. And your dawn day will come. Your wedding day will come. And today, start dancing your wedding. See yourself in the wedding. Yes. You lost your job. God has a better job for you. And you dance in it right now. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise and praise right now. Proverbs 15, verse 15. Verse, six, verse 16. Are you there? All the days of the afflicted. Proverbs chapter 15, 15. Everybody go. All the days of the afflicted are evil. But he who is of a merry heart has what? Has what? Do you understand that? If you don't become joyful, your death will be evil. Monday, evil things will happen. Tuesday, bad things will happen. But if you are always feasting, you are happy. Every day shall be a day of joy for you. He got some praise for right Hallelujah. <laughs> All the days, Hallelujah. Oh my goodness, I love this. Verse 16. Better is a little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure with trouble. You don't have much, but you are happy. That you are joyful. God shall multiply for you. Hallelujah. Oh God, to God be the glory. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Proverbs 17, 22. The last one. A merry heart is like quinine tonic. It's like APC. A merry heart does good. It does what? When you are happy, it makes you good. At least something good happened to you. There's a link between Dr. Mabel, please, my daughter, Honorable Kam. There is, there is a link between joy, merrymaking, and your blood, your blood pressure, and, and your, your health. So listen to what, this is a, a general surgeon, the first general surgeon in West Africa and Africa. Amen. Expert. This woman, listen carefully. As for her medicine, it's, it's God-given. It's God, this woman is God-given. Her medical practice is not for money. It's for humanity. Doctor, so tell us, people are watching, so let's talk to them. Listen, what is the link between being joyful and, being, and making merry and health? Because I would say the merry heart, that's good, like medicine. Yeah, so let's hear. My goodness. Is it working? Yes, it's working. Can you hear her? No, you can't, you can't hear her. I can't hear you. Okay, you. Hallelujah. What's that? Hello. Uh, yeah, correct. Yes. So, um, when um, listen to somebody me. is joyful, uh -huh. you produce certain chemicals. Certain chemicals. Uh -huh, that boost your immunity. It's like it, it, it helps the blood cells to produce the ones that defend you. Mm. Okay, uh -huh. defend you, prevent germs mm. from attacking you, mm. and also makes you strong mm. even though no germ is attacking you your body just becomes stronger, stronger so that you see that health i mean people who laugh a lot and who are joyful they are even their skin shine hey, you understand can you see my skin and, <laughs> and and the women look if you are a woman especially women if you are stressed and all the time you are sorrowful you see that your hair will be breaking and you get gray hairs Mm. But when you are joyful, you see that your hair shines. You know, your hair grows more. Your hair shines. Your nails, your, even your fingernails don't break. You understand? Uh -huh. So these are, your skin becomes so beautiful. Mm. And if these things are on the outside, imagine what is happening on the inside. So that is what cheerfulness, joy, laughter, and all those things does to you. Amen. Thank you very much. So your feet right now. So we shall do it right now. Be ready to praise the Lord. Amen. Are you ready? 
Come on, say, and I know, and I know. Now, listen carefully. We shall do it aggressively. It's 10 47. We'll do it for 30 minutes. Is it too much? Okay, 20 minutes. It's, it's God's day, so why not? No Bible says it today, so we'll flow. 20 minutes of powerful praise. Amen. Now, praise God in the situation. Every affliction afflicting you, you just be joyful. Amen. God shall change your situation. Amen. Your story is changing this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank Lift you. your hands say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's why today I, 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 brought, I brought canvas. Yes. yes, I brought canvas so I can jump. See, yes. shoes, shoes don't help me. So, if your canvas is better. And I now, come on, let's go. Let's go. Now, before we do that, let me pray for those who don't have Jesus Christ because your joy cannot be full without having Christ, okay? All eyes closed shortly. All eyes closed. You want Jesus in your heart. You want the Lord to bless you with salvation. So one day, when you die in this world, you go to heaven. Straight to God's kingdom. Because life is short and hell is hot. Don't go to hell. All eyes closed. You want Jesus in your life. Please, all eyes closed, please. And be quiet in God's house, in God's presence. Let's pray. Please, you want Jesus in your heart. You want me to pray for you, to accept the Lord. Lift your right hand to God. I pray for you. Lift your right hand to God. Lift it up to God. Lift it up high to God. Yes. Yes, God bless you. I see. Yes, God bless you. Please, let's pray this prayer with them. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you died for my sin. On the third day, you rose again. I accept you as my Lord and my personal Savior. I thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Let's praise the Lord right now. When you are me, sir. When you are me so, hey, mama, yes, when you are me, hey, Raja, yeah. When you are me, say, hey, mama, yes, when you are me, hey, Raja, yeah. When you are me, say, hey, when you are me, say, hey, when you are me, say, hey, oh, mama, yes, when you are me, hey, Raja, yeah. When you are me, say. I will lift up your name. I will lift up your name. I will lift up your name. I you. You are wonderful. I will lift up your name. You are wonderful. I will lift you higher. I will lift up in your name. I will exalt you, Lord. Hey, great Jehovah. You are wonderful. I will lift up your name. Great Jehovah. Great Jehovah. You are wonderful. I will lift up your name. Great Jehovah. Great Jehovah. You are wonderful. I will lift up your name. Pretty over, pretty over. You are wonderful. I will lift up your name. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hey. Lord, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. We give you glory. You are good. And your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Jehovah. You are the most high. Jehovah. You are the most high. We pass you, Jehovah. You are the most high. The most high. You are the most high. Say Jehovah. You are the most high. Jehovah. You are the most high. 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 You are the Shall I say unto the Lord? 
Lord. All I have to say is thank you. What shall I say? What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you. What shall I say? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, everybody, clap your hands. Come on. Put your hands together, everybody. Put your hands together. Oh, be a ma. Oh, be a ma. Oh, be a ma. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Are you clapping? Put your hands together, everybody. Put your hands together. Oh, be a ma. Oh, be a ma. Say glory be to God in the highest. Hey, everybody sing hallelujah. 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 Everybody sing hallelujah. 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 Everybody sing hallelujah. 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 Everybody sing hallelujah. 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 Wakanya maya ni nani ya tiremio Wakanya ya nuwe mbumivo Adumu fwe Wakanya maya ni nani ya tiremio Wakanya ya nuwe mbumivo Adumu fwe Let's go Kami upata eja dini kwa tuwa mame this is what it did. I cannot come in there, no, not a soupy. Hey, now so I can't hear for yes or no. What do you need? I'm not a soupy. I'm not a soupy. I'm not a soupy. I'm not a soupy. Now, can we take it higher? Don't bury my enemy. I'm not a soupy. I'm not a soupy. Unya omeda, ota omeda, nani huu mpande, kami huwa brenima. Hey, everybody say, mi kwa chiche, nino, meitabia, nino, mikire mosefa, onuni ehoa, medine chita. Mi kwa chiche, mi kwa chiche. Yes, we. 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 Yes,
Everybody. Who ran away? Who ran away? Oh, the praise has given us victory. Hey. Who ran away? Everybody. Who ran away? Yes, you're my 
Nasia. Oh, Yanamia Yaninam. I am not in Yaninam. I am not in the Tat. The Dinity says, Oh, the Dinity says, Ah, 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 the Dinity says, Jesus, 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 Jose, 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 so lift him up, lift him up, lift him up, lift him up, up, lift him up, lift him up, sweated today means you haven't praised today. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Even your sweat must praise the Lord. Every part of your being must praise the Lord. Will you lift up your hands and say praise? Jesus is Lord. Amen. Please, you can take your seats as we prepare to take our... <laughs> hey, they are tempting me, eh? Hey, G -G -G. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> We shall sleep here today. If I listen to them, we will sleep here today. Praise the Lord. So we prepare your offering. We will take this one first. We will take the building pledge first. So if you have, you brought a building pledge. I don't know if the ministry should also come or we should wait with that one. Should they come? No, okay, just... If you individual pledges, if you brought your building pledge, please come forward. Let's receive that one first. We'll take the tithe later. We'll take the tithe after this. We want to take it separately. So if you brought your building pledge, let's take that one. Father, thank you for this vow. As we have vowed and we have redeemed the vow, may your blessings come upon us in abundance in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you can just put it in the box. All right, so if you brought your tithe, you can also come. If you brought your tithe, please come forward and let's pay it. Uh, receive the tithe. We receive the tithe before the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you for being obedient to his word and paying your tithe. As you pay your tithe, the Lord will open the windows of heaven for you. And he will pour his blessing upon you. You will never lack. You will always receive from the Most High God, in Jesus' name. F lift it up. Father, we thank you for this tithe. As you have received the tithe, we receive the blessing of the tithe, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Now you can take your seed. Today, Wednesday, will say yay. Today, I said Wednesday, will say yay. <laughs> today, dear, let's do something. Let's do something today, okay? <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, uh, let's rise up on our feet. So we'll take our offering and then we'll take the, uh, um, Two. the day born Three. as well. Okay, be on your feet. Two. Father, we thank you for the seed that we have come, appearance offering, Lord. As we have appeared before your presence, we give this offering and we believe we shall receive a hundredfold return in Jesus' name. Amen. I go, I go. Hello. I go, I go. Yes, I am my. I go. I 
I am the Bacama, for the Lord God is on my side. Bindawasi, Bindawasi, yes, we are the Bacama. Bindawasi, Bindawasi, yes, we are the Bacama. Bindawasi, Bindawasi, yes, we are the Bacama. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you are wonderful, Lord. I love you so. Oh my darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you are wonderful, Lord. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus, darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you are wonderful, Lord. I love you so. Oh my darling Jesus, you are wonderful. Lord. I love you so, my darling Jesus. Oh my darling Jesus, you are wonderful. Lord. I love you so, my darling Jesus. Oh my darling Jesus, you are wonderful. Lord. Darling, darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you are wonderful. Lord. I love you so, my darling Jesus. Oh my darling Jesus, you are wonderful. Lord. When my together unto Jesus. Oh, I, you are not clapping for man. You are clapping for the king of kings. Hallelujah. Please stretch forth your hands and let's pray over this seed. Father, we thank you for such a time in your presence to just glorify your name and to give you praise. That which you gave unto us, we brought under your feet, Lord. Bless and sanctify for your use that your name alone be glorified. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Oh, amen. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, so, shall we now have these announcements beginning from uh, today, 7th of April, 2022. 2024, sorry. She folds. She are community groups that meet weekly in our areas of residence on Sundays and Tuesdays. Please locate a sheepfold near you and make sure you attend either today or coming Tuesday. Amen. Love Connect. Love Connect. Yes. If it's our welfare, then let's be serious with it. We have been encouraged to go and register. It is our welfare. Hallelujah. It's in three packages, platinum for 20 Ghana, gold for 15 Ghana, and then 10 cities is a silver. Please choose your preferred package and make sure you register. It is for our own good. Hallelujah. Then mission to Afram Plains. 
In connection with the mission to Afram Plains, members are encouraged to support with cutlasses, medicines, and food, and any other stuff you think they will need there. All donations can be presented at the protocol desk. And we are also looking for volunteers to join the mission team. Interested members should please see the protocol and register. Women of destiny. Women of destiny. Women of destiny. All women are invited to their breakfast meeting coming Saturday the 13th of April 2024. Right here at Goshen. The time is 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. The attire is a women's fellowship t-shirt or any of the church's t-shirts. Please, you are all encouraged to attend. And then men of love. Oh, men of love. Arise and build. Men of love. Yes. All men of Goshen are to take note that the men's fellowship has a package of upcoming programs designed for the upliftment of both our spiritual and our physical needs. Hallelujah. In fact, you just can't afford to miss. Hallelujah. Watch out for details, which will be spelled out very soon. Amen. Servants Forum. There will be Servants Forum on Saturday, the 13th of April, 2024, from 11 to 1 p.m. If you are a servant here, all ministries should take note and please make sure you are present. Hallelujah. And then shall we have this funeral announcement? Pastor Michael Buedu and Sister Rose Buedu announced the passing into eternity of their mother, Mrs. Rose and Sir Buedu. The funeral arrangements are as follows. The burial service is on Saturday, the 27th of April at the Esiaqua Presbyterian Church at 9 a.m. And then the final funeral rite is on the same day, 27th April, at the Esiaqua Presby School Park. The following day will be the Thanksgiving service on the 28th of April at the Esiaqua Presbyterian Church, 9 a.m. The dress code for the funeral is black and white. We are all encouraged to come and support our pastor and our sister. And now finally, the following ministries are praying at the labor room prayer today. They are choirs on duty. So if you know you sang, you ministered today, all the choirs who minister are praying today. And then the ushers, young adults, intercessors, pastors and deacons and deaconesses. Amen. And now Agnes Esibu is thanking God for adding another year to her uh, age. And that is coming from the families of Kiete, Baxter, and Ofori. Thank God for one year anniversary of their wife, mother, sister, and grandma, Mrs. Ruby, Na Amla Baxter, Kiete. May your soul continue to rest in perfect peace. Amen. To the birthday celebrant, we say happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh, where are you? Happy birthday to you. Hallelujah. Okay. We want to um, welcome Mr. Kiete here to, for, for prayer. Let's pray for her as she is um, breaking the morning of the late wife. Please come over here. Let's pray for her. Today, the, the, the morning is over. After one year, it's over. Amen. And the family, the family is here. They can join him in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Let's come. Come and stand behind him. Let's clap for the family as they come around. Amen. The Lord shall replace. The Lord shall restore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please turn your face shortly and stretch your hand over his life and over the family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for your son and the family. We thank you that, Lord, you brought him to this world for your own purpose. And you tied him to the late wife at a point in time. Lord, you permitted her to be with you. And he's here now. And we pray for him for strength. The morning is over, oh Lord, we pray that you restore him, you bless him, 
and take his life to the next level. We pray for the whole family that you strengthen them one more time in Jesus' precious name. Father, we thank you. Amen. May God bless you for coming to stand with him. Morning is over. So move on your life. Amen. Move on. Come on, say, move on your life. God bless you. You can take your seats. Amen. All right. Then, yeah, do, do it. Do it. We are clapping. Then we have two celebrants here. We want to celebrate 70 year old. First of all, let's come around and then uh, 50 year old. Please come over, Mr. I um, have here Mr. Daniel Chinri and Mr. Robert Ashi. Please come. 70 years. Mr. Robert is 70 years old today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to 70 years. You look so young. Amen. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. 50 years. You have chapter 50 today. May God bless you. Please stretch your hands and pray for them. Lord, we pray. Oh, come, Adam. Let's have the family. Uh, Mr. Ash, Please come. Come. You're welcome, sir. That is, that is, that is, that is the wife. <laughs> Amen. Let's stretch your hands and pray for them. God bless you so much. Hey. Wait a minute. Wow. Please stretch your hands, brother. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for Miss Ash's life, Mr. Chenry's life. For giving them one more life, 70 years and 50 years. Multiply them, strengthen them, that they will live longer and longer. 120 years is the decree we place on them today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you and give you glory. Amen. Okay, Miss Ash. Oh, yeah, one more. Yeah, go. Let's go. 50. 50 more years. So we start. You go on to seven. You go 50. 50. Go. One, two, three. Wait, Three, four, five, six. Hey, Echo. Hey, one for ten years. Hey. 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 This I will never die young. One for ten years. Hey. One sixty years. Amen. Miss Ashi, it is your gift for 70 years old from the church. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. This is your gift. More years for you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Clap for them. Hey, Miss Ashi is strong. I tell you. One for ten years, uh, he will chop it. You, yeah, amen. All right, let me do these announcements very fast, and then we we'll, we'll close. Um, we are going to Afram Plains next week. Next week, we are all going to Afram Plains. How many of you are going to Afram Plains? How many of you are going to Afram Plains? Okay, now we want volunteers. We want missionaries to join us. We are going for just five days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday, we come back. And Sunday, we join ourselves here in the service. We're going to have a big crusade. We're going to have medical outreach. Our doctors are going. Our nurses are going to do medical mission. And then supply drugs. We want drugs. If you know a company that gives us free drugs, please. We want them. We want rice, bags of rice. Are we here? We want bags of rice. Okanshi, Okanshi uh, workers, please give us bags of rice. <laughs> we want what again? We want uh, oil. We want all kinds of food stuff. Amen. Back ones to to bless the brethren in Afran place. We want money. We want what? If you want to give us ten thousand, uh, twenty thousand, um, we are going. Hallelujah. Amen. Um. We have committed the organization of instruments and uh, lighting is big time. I mean, stage everything to a comp to a company. So we are. It's not our. Uh, it's not our bedding. Amen. But they are charging us. Amen. They are charging us. So we have to pay them. So because once we go with our instruments, we come back damaged 
equipment. So we, we don't want that. So a company is taking care of all the instruments, their own instruments, their own lighting system. The stage is lighter stage. I mean, powerful stage, a big stage, big, long, big stage to lighten the whole place. Amen. We want people to volunteer to support the saving of souls. Amen. So if God is leading you to do that, do so. They are welcome, Jesus' name. It looks like a crash program with our building. But hey, God can do anything. As we go out and save souls, God will have mercy upon us to give us more to build this church. Hallelujah. And so the next thing is that we are going to flow this place very soon. And those of you who pledge, please redeem the pledges. If the Lord is blessing you and you can give more, let's, let's do that. It's all to the glory of God's wonderful name. One day, we'll go to heaven and God will tell you, because you built this place and a certain soul entered, this is your reward in heaven. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I love that song. So let's do it, let's do it, let's do it so that um, this year we shall go into the building. Amen. We'll finish by the end of the year. Hallelujah. Okay. Yeah, so the next thing is that some of our brethren finished the class 101 and they are here for their certificates. Please, let's welcome the class 101 candidates. Come right now, let's welcome them. Let's welcome them. In the first service, about six of them came for the first service. There are ten numbers. Six came in the first service and four are here for the second service. Let's cl oh, clap for them. They've completed the membership class. If you haven't, haven't, haven't had the class, make sure you join the class. Amen. And so you mentioned the names. We have Mr. Clement Wange. Yeah, Mr. Clement Wange, please. That is your certificate. God bless you so much. And then we have Agnes Sibu. Hey, pack all your class, eh? Old member, but it's okay. I love it. And then we have Benjamin Adi. God bless you so much. And then we have Gifty Sunu. So we welcome you to the church, church membership. You are part of us. Amen. Your next class is class 201. And then you go to class 301 to class 501. When you finish, you'll be cooked like, 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 uh, like Nani. You don't Nani, like, like Kotoje. We're cooked. The devil cannot stand you anymore. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Please, let's clap for them as they sit down. God bless you so much. We love you. We love you. And then, um, our shirts will give you some pieces of paper. How many of you received some tests yesterday? Test messages. Let me see you. you received. Let me see, please. Let me see. Okay. Some did receive. Please, I want you to update your number. You... We know it, but write it again so that we can update your, your, your number in our things, in our, in our system. So the officers give you some piece of paper, your name and your number, that's all. So we can do, every time we do updates. Sometimes, some of the numbers, when you, when you test, send test, it don't go. If you have changed your number to which you know. So receive this piece of paper and write your name and your, um, your phone number, just that. That's all we need. So we can update. So when we send messages, how many of you received some calls? Let me see you receive some calls yesterday. Uh, yeah. So the two did receive calls means that your number is missed, missing in our things. So please do it for us. Everybody here, do so. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. And then um, on Saturday, Saturday at 11 o'clock, after the women's retreat. 11 o'clock, we shall have all church workers' forum, servants' forum, all church workers. We are meeting on Saturday from 11 o'clock to 1. Just a short two hours meeting to address some few issues in our ministries. Amen. So, all church workers, all church workers, I beg you, after the women's retreat, we start from 11, we close at 2, or 1 o'clock exactly. Make sure that you are here so we talk. It's a long time we had, a, we had a, a meeting, so please come. Let's address issues about kingdom business. Amen. Hey, today, Wednesday has done it all. You know what? Today, Wednesday is 3,860. Wow. What happened today? 
And Thursday is 2,900. And 65. And Friday is 1,965. Hey, Friday, 38, Friday, 38. And Tuesday, oh, Tuesday, 1,505. Tuesday is 4th. Sunday is 5th, 431. Saturday is 6, 282. Monday is 7, 190. The first service Monday was first. The first service Monday was first. But here they are last. And the total is 11,198. Amen. God bless you. Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday did a trick. <laughs> oh, God bless you. Amen. Amen. All right. I think I have a few announcements. Where's my, my phone? Yeah. It's 11.39. We'll be closing very soon by 11.42. 43, when we're out of here. Amen. Please, I want you to pray. Keep praying, everybody. Pray, keep praying and bear our dear Picnic in prayer. Mrs. Fawson, pray, pray for her. Let's bear in prayer. Amen. We are praying. We, we don't sleep well. Our sleep gets distorted. Yes. Because we have to intercede. Standing for her. Please, when you live here, remember our dear Picnic in prayer. Pray. Pray seriously. So that God will glorify his name. He's, done it. He's glorified it already. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yeah. So we, we thank the Lord for all he has done today. Um, yeah. I think I, I think I'm 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 done about the last thing the last thing is that uh hey guy one verse one to eleven when you read the account. It talks about building God's house. Haggai 11, Haggai 1, verse 1 to 11. Let me read shortly. That is the last thing we do. We'll close on time. By 11.45, we are out of here. So let's, let's look, look, look at this one. Please give it to me shortly. And this month, the theme is grace for building the house of God. I will say go. Grace for building the... Say it again. Grace for building the house of God. Amen. Yeah, so listen to this scripture. When you go home, you can read all. But let's read only a, only a short part. Verse 1 to 11. In the second year of King Darius, in the sixth month, on the first day of the month, the Lord came to Haggai, the prophet, to Zerubbabel, the son of Shetel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, saying, there's two. That speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, these people say the time has not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Then the way the Lord came to his, came by Hagar, the prophet saying, Is it time for you yourself to dwell in your paneled houses and this temple to lie in rings? Now, therefore, that says the Lord, consider your ways. You have sown much and bring in little. You eat, but do not get enough, have enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And he who earns wages, earns wages to put into a bag with holes. That says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up to the mountains and bring wood and build a temple that may take pleasure in it and be glorified. When you build God's temple, God gets glorified. Says the Lord, continue. You look for much, but indeed it came too little. And when you brought it home, I blew it away. Why? Says the Lord of hosts, because of my house that is in rings. While every one of you runs to his own house. Verse 10. Therefore the heavens above you withhold the dew, and the earth withholds its fruits. Living. For I called for a drought on the land and the mountains and the, on the grain and the new wine and the oil on whatever the ground brings forth on men and livestock and on all the labor of your hands. In, in short, when you don't build God's house, when you earn profit, God says he'll blow, he'll blow it away. But when you build God's house, you sow little and reap much. That is 
what is talking about. So when you go home, read all the rest. Amen. Please, secondly, church service is not only on Sundays. Some of us, it's only Sundays we attend church once a week. That is not the tradition of the early church. The early church attended church every day and they attended home meetings and temple meetings. Please, your Sunday attendance is good, but add a midweek service to it to strengthen your Christian faith. Every Wednesday we meet here as a church. We take communion together and also we teach God's word together. We teach a lot on Wednesdays and teaching will mature you. So I want to beg everybody here. Sometimes, you know, some churches start at 7, they close at 9 because of time factor. But we start at 6 and close at 8. It's it's so good. 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, we close Wednesday. So it's not too too much to come from your work. Straight from work, come to church before you go home. That is a triangle. Home, office, church, home, triangle. Home, office, church. That's how it should be. So let's see your Wednesdays so that you strengthen your Christian life with teachings. Praise the Lord. Are we here, church? Oh, is your mind here? Yeah? yeah. That is how I grew my Christian life. Attend church Sundays and then weekdays as well. Amen. So that is the second thing. I'm sh- the last thing is about our home sales. If you are in the church, you must identify with one home sale in your area. So that just in case something happens, please are we here? Somebody near you can report or can visit you. Sometimes we are, we are human. We go through certain things, okay? Within this visitation, somebody can visit you. So everybody here must belong to a cell. If you don't know your cell, the pastors are in front. When we close, come in front here, see the pastors, they will show you. Look, you can even start a cell. Even if you are two, you can begin a cell meeting. When you begin a cell meeting, just come and report to us that you are two or three, you have started a cell. That is how church runs. It runs from temple into the house. Home and temple. That's how church must be. You know why? During the COVID-19 COVID, COVID period, church was closed down. The churches were not meeting for about two months or three months. Three months, right? But some of our members needed help and they didn't know what to do. But those who were, who were in the home cells, they received help. Straight from the church welfare. We sent monies, we sent uh, even rice and things like that from to the home cells. So we don't expect anything to happen like that. But just in case something happens and we can't attend church. Then we know that you are in the home cell. We can locate you in the home cell. Praise the Lord. Are we here, church? Sometimes somebody is sick at the hospital. We don't know. But home cell members who are around you will know. You need to be with somebody. I work alone, you stop. Don't work alone. It's not good. Have people who can encourage you, who can worship God with you in your area and meet and pray together in your area. And God bless you for coming to you today. Today has been wonderful. If you have sweated enough and you are still sweating, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Please turn your feet right now as we close. Wednesday, I was, we expect all of us here. Wednesday, please come to church. Come, come. I'm taking a series on building the house of God. So please, Wednesday, let's see you around. Amen. When we close, all the kings and dignities should please wait shortly for a meeting. Just a short meeting with all the kings and dignities. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because he lives, I confess tomorrow. Because Christ lives, all fear is gone. All fear is gone. And now I know, yes I know, he holds the future. And life is well, living just me. to us up as we step out with joy this afternoon, this morning. May the Lord's presence go with you. Wherever you step today, may the blood speak for you. May, the, may God's joy give you strength. This week should be a week of encounter with God. May God multiply your resources. May God visit for the sake of his kingdom. May God multiply you. May God bless you. May you come back here next week with joy and gladness and testimonies for that has done for you in the name of of Jesus Christ. Amen. Before we share the grace, if today's your first time of coming to church, today's your first time 
of attending church here. We, we have a gift for you, a special gift for you. So when we close, come right in front and come and stand with me. We shall take you to our office and give you a special gift. Amen. Hold somebody's son and say, Surely, goodness and mercies are following you all the days of your life. And you are dwelling in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Um, and shake 2,000 hands and say the same thing to them. And tell the person, be joyful in the Lord. Be joyful in the Lord. Today's your first time. Please come to me right now.